everyone! Welcome back to my channel! So, ngayong umagang ito, isi-share ko sa inyo yung aking person of devotion this morning or yung Bible study ko. And it is Proverbs 31. Entitled as, Ganda ka girl! Plus, some advices or some biblical perspective for the single guys out there on how to choose the right woman. Since I na nga, yung mga single gen and some of us, like single women especially, we we feel like uh, we are not enough kapag wala tayo kadate or parang naliliit tayo sa sarili natin, feeling natin we're not, we're not beautiful enough, we're not good enough para i-date ng mga lalaki dyan. Nakalimutan ko pala guys. While I'm doing this, I'm going to do my simple makeup for today. Kino-question natin ang ating worth based sa ating status. You know, single ka ba, married, or in a relationship, or it's complicated. Ang tanong, ano ba ang importante talaga sa pagiging isang babae? You know, sa generation na to, we are compared a lot to other women out there na ang hirap i-reach. We always compare ourselves like, she's better. Merong mas maganda, merong mas magaling, merong mas sexy, merong mas mabait. Ano nga ba ang standard natin? You know, marami akong kakilala na pag, pag binabagit yung Proverbs 31, sabi nila, ay ano ba yan? Baka perfect naman ang babae na yan. Ano ba yan? Parang uh, ano naman yan? Hindi naman makatotohanan. Nakaka-depress naman kasi parang hindi ko marireach yan sa aking buong buhay. And this person for sure is a sinner as well. Probably uh, may masamaang past at nakaraan. And we are all imperfect people. We are all sinners who needs Jesus Christ to change our hearts and our lives. A woman who who is imperfect but made perfect dahil sa pagmamahal ng Diyos. So, ang tanong, gano'n ko nga ba kaganda? Is it based on popularity? Or, kung gano'n ka katalino? Your achievements? Your career? Your position? In work? Or, kung gano'n kadami ang manliligaw mo? Ilang ba yan? Bilangin mo. Hindi ba yan mabilang sa kamay? Eh, di ikaw na! Kung gano'n ba kadami... Ang kakampi mo. Sa pag-chismis. Sa iyo, mga ayaw na tao. Pwede din malaking factor dito. Ang, when we look at social media, we feel insecure and we tend to compare ourselves sa buhay na ibang tao. And because of that, na-insecure tayo at dahil na-insecure tayo, gusto natin silang sirain dahil tayo. Ang puso natin ay siratin. Women of Christ, please do not imitate especially if it's not Christ like do not look at the standard of the world nagbabago yan ngayon ito ang sikat ngayon ito ang maganda bukas iba na gusto kong maging maputi kasi yun ang standard ng society ngayon then bukas ang standard na ng society ay morena Hindi ka na naman satisfied sa sarili mo. Hindi insecure ka na naman kasi hindi ka na pasok sa standard ng mundo or ng society. Do not imitate the world. Imitate Christ. Those people that you see on social media that you are trying to imitate, those are imperfect people too who need Christ in their lives. In verse 25, she is clothed with strength and dignity. And she laughs with without fear of the future. She is not worried nor fearful what other thinks of her. Alam niya kung sino siya. Hindi nagbabasi ang worth niya niya sa sinasabi ng mundo sa kanya. Verse 26. When she speaks, her words are wise. And she gives instructions with kindness. Kapag nagsasalita ka, anong lumalabas sa bibig mo? Lahat ng lumalabas sa bibig niya may laman. Hindi chismis. Hindi pa ninira ng ibang tao. But is it is wise. When we speak, do we encourage people? Do we share love and kindness? Or paninira lang lahat ng lumalabas sa bibig natin? Boys, 
kayo? Ano standard nyo ng beauty? Ano standard nyo sa isang magandang babae? Napakadaming babaeng magaganda physically outside. Will that outside beauty save your marriage or your relationship? There are many virtuous and capable women in the world. But you surpass them all. Hindi ba ang sarap pang ganon? Napakadaming magagandang babae dyan sa mundo. Napakadaming mas magaling, mas matalino. Pero you surpass them all. Ikaw na ang the best. Nalampasan mo na sila. You surpass them all. Isn't that ang sarap pang ganon, di ba? This is for men and women out there. Charm is deceptive in verse 30. And beauty is fleeting. It does not last. But the woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Hindi lang yung ganda. Hindi lang yung achievement. Hindi lang yung mayaman siya, makini siya, or whatever that is physically, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised, and that woman surpasses all other women in the world. Napasok sa standard ng mundo. Yung beauty mo hindi lang pang madalian, hindi lang para sa mundo. Ang beauty mo ay pang walang hanggan. Ang tanong ko ulit, gano'n ka kaganda? You know, nobody's perfect, even ako. Maraming beses na nalalaglag ako at nadada pa, but then, you know, God's grace is sufficient and the Holy Spirit is here to convict us. We should aim to imitate Christ, babae ka man or lalaki. Now, tell me, gaano ka kaganda? Ano na ngayon ang standard ng beauty para sa'yo? Ano ba dapat ang standard mo? Kailangan ba sikat ka? Kailangan ba maganda? Mayaman? Maputi? Nobody is perfect. Walang taong perfecto. Totoo yan. Pero ang takot sa Diyos, hindi mo pwedeng pikiin. Man, mm, alamin nyo. Taasan nyo yung standard nyo, hindi dahil yun lang ang gusto nyo, kundi dahil yun ang gustos para sa'yo ng Diyos. Women, Itaas natin yung standard natin para sa sarili natin. Walang attractive sa taong maganda sa panlabas at madumi ang puso. Hindi madali maging Proverbs 31 woman, I know. But, you know, ask God. Ask God for help to change your heart and to lead you to His standard. Many women will embrace their own beauty that women of God will focus more on their hearts and on how they help other people how God can use them for the advancement of his kingdom and helping people know Christ I believe that you don't need to be a pastor or a leader or a scholar to share the truth of God Jesus has given you the right to make disciples and to share his truth and the gospel with the help of the Holy Spirit. I pray na tayong lahat ay mabuhay para sa Diyos, hindi para sa sarili natin, hindi, hindi para sa ibang tao, at hindi para sa gusto ng mundo na maging tayo. But we should live to be Christ-like and to glorify God in every aspect of our lives. Let me pray for you. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, thank you so much for Panginoon for this opportunity that we are able to to study your word, Panginoon, and that uh, we have a standard that is sinet yung po sa puso namin to help us, Lord God, to be more Christ-like and to be more content and to be satisfied in you alone, Lord God. Thank you, Panginoon, dahil you have fearfully and wonderfully made us uniquely in your own image. Tulungan niyo po kami na iset ang mind at ang eyes namin sa inyo lamang. May you use ang bawat isa po sa amin for your own glory and honor, Panginoon. We praise you, we glorify you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray everybody say, Amen. So, I hope guys, nagustuhan niyo itong ating small talk about real beauty. And, magli-lipstick muna ako para naman ma-finish na yung ating 
natural everyday look. So that's all guys. Um, thank you for watching and please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And see you guys next time. God bless. Bye.